Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip. With the friends, no way! Cruising on that main street, you're relaxed and feeling good. And the next thing that you know, you're singing. What's in my neighborhood? Swipe around on the sideway, swinging through the stars. So why not go right? and to see if he can be able to fight off this bacterial infection. Yay! Miss Frizzle, I know we're in Ralphie's bloodstream, but what are all these things? Well, class, an antigen is any substance that causes the immune system to produce antibodies against it. The substance may be from the environment or formed within the body, and the immune system will kill or neutralize any antigen that is recognized as a foreign and potentially harmful invader. The term originally came from antibody generator and was a molecule that binds specifically to an antibody, but the term now also refers to any molecule or molecular fragment that can be bound by a major histocompatibility complex, or MHC, and presented to a T cell receptor. Self-antigens are usually tolerated by the immune system whereas non-self antigens can be identified as invaders and can be attacked by the immune system. Next we're going to move to the bacteria that has infected Ralphie's body. Bacteria are a large domain of proteorotic microorganisms. Typically a few micrometers in length, bacteria have a wide range of shapes ranging from spheres to rods and spirals. The vast majority of the bacteria in the body are rendered harmless by the protective effects of the immune system, and a few are even beneficial. Unlike cells of animals and other eukaryotes, bacterial cells do not contain a nucleus and rarely harbor membrane-bound organelles. This class is the cell membrane or plasma membrane. It is a biological membrane that separates the interior of all cells from the outside environment. The cell membrane is selectively permeable to ions and organic molecules and it controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. It basically protects any of the cells from outside forces and it consists of the lipid bilator with embedded proteins. Cell membranes are involved in a variety of cellular processes such as cell adhesion, ion conductivity, and cell signaling, and serve as the attachment surface for several extracellular structures. Where to next, Miss Fritz? Well, class, let's go look at the inflammation that's happening in Ralphie's body. This is part of the complex biological response of vascular tissues to harmful stimuli such as pathogens, damaged cells, or irritants. Inflammation is, is a protective attempt by the organism to remove the injurious stimuli and to initiate the healing process. However, inflammation is a stereotyped response and therefore it is considered as a mechanism of innate immunity as compared to adaptive immunity, which is specific for each pathogen and we will talk about this later in class. I'm learning so much today, Miss Frizzle. What's next? Well, class, we're going to head over to these white blood cells. 
White blood cells, or leukocytes, are cells of the immune system involved in defending the body against both infectious disease and foreign materials. Five different and diverse types of leukocytes exist, but they are all produced and derived from a multipotent cell in the bone marrow known as hematopoietic stem cell. This exists in the bone marrow and they live for about three to four days in the average human body. Leukocytes are found throughout the body, including the blood and the lymphatic system. What are these big blobs on the right, Miss Frizzle? Well, these are natural killer cells and they are a type of cytotoxic lymphocyte, critical to the innate immune system. The role natural killer cells play is analogous to that of the cytotoxic T cells in the vertebrae of the adaptive immune response. NK cells provide rapid responses to virally infected cells and respond to tumor formation acting at around three days after infection. Typically, immune cells detect MHC presented on infected cell surfaces, triggering cytokine release causing lysis or apoptosis, which is a bursting of the cell. NK cells are unique, however, as they have the ability to recognize stress cells in the absence of antibodies and MHC, allowing for a much faster immune reaction. They were named natural killers for a much faster immune reaction. They were named natural killers because of the initial notion that they do not require activation in order to kill cells that are missing self-markers. Alright class, so now let's explore Ralphie's cut a little more in depth, shall we? Here we have the opening on his leg to the cut, and here we have the big old mean Mr. Bacteria, who is going to break off and enter into Ralphie's leg through the wound. <laughs> now that we can see all the bacteria has migrated through poor Ralphie's leg, spreading out quite evenly, we now discover that an immune response has begun. And we notice this with the inflammation that has occurred right down here. Now that the bacteria has been marked by the antigens, the white cells, white blood cells, now recognize it as a foreign invader and now can go eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. Mm, me love cookies. Mm, mm. Now that all the bacteria has been eaten up by these beautiful little white blood cells, Ralphie's leg can start feeling a whole lot better and we can now kick out Mr. Bad Guy bacteria down here and Ralphie's leg can continue to heal, just like this. Now class, a little fun fact. If this were a virus rather than a bacterial infection, these little antigens right here would form a memory to that virus so that next time it attacked, the whole process would happen a whole lot quicker. Three. Well class, after being in Ralphie's body, what have you learned about the immune system? Well, Miss Frizzle, I didn't know that the white blood cells release antigens which mark the bacteria to be attacked. I learned that inflammation is a part of the immune response. I didn't know how complicated it was. I didn't know that our immune system has a kind of memory so that our body can remember foreign invaders. This helps our immune system react to infections faster so that we can fight them off as fast as possible. Thanks for teaching us about the immune system today, Miss Frizzle. You're welcome. Alright class, now it's time to head out of Ralphie's leg and back to the classroom. <laughs> Beep, beep,